The Lord be with you. Thank you for joining us here at Christ Our Savior Lutheran Church right here in Holland, Michigan for the whole counsel of God. We've been reading through the New Testament here in 2024 and today on the 15th, oops, I'm sorry, yes, the 14th day of August, the 14th day of August, we are in Galatians, the sixth chapter, verses one through 10. So let's hear God's word and pray together. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Speak, Lord, for your servant hears. Please show me now your ways, that I may gain Christ and be found in him, not having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but that which comes through faith in Christ. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Give me life, O Lord, according to your word, and I will declare your greatness. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Galatians, the sixth chapter, verses 1 through 10. Bear one another's burdens. Brothers, if anyone is caught in any transgression, you who are spiritual should restore him in a spirit of gentleness. Keep watch on yourself, lest you too be tempted. Bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. For if anyone thinks he is something, when he is nothing, he deceives himself. But let each one test his own work, and then his reason to boast will be in himself alone and not in his neighbor, for each will have to bear his own load. One who is taught the word must share all good things with the one who teaches. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever one sows, that he will also reap. For the one who sows to his own flesh will from the flesh reap corruption. But the one who sows to the Spirit will from the Spirit reap eternal life. And let us not grow weary of doing good. For in due season we will reap if we do not give up. So then, as we have opportunity, let us do good to everyone, and especially to those who are of the household of faith. So far, the word of the Lord. Members of God's family, restore the erring, bear one another's burdens, support their teachers, and do good to all, especially to fellow Christians. An attitude of moral spiritual superiority closes the heart against the brother or sister in need. The Son of God loved me and gave himself for me, that I may be free to serve him and my neighbor in need. We pray. Teach me to be patient with others, Lord, so I may not grow tired of doing good. Restore me with unfailing mercy. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. We continue in prayer. We give thanksgiving for every person who volunteers in a congregation, as an elder, as an usher, as a Sunday school teacher, or in any capacity. We praise God that he calls his people to support full-time church workers in so many different ways. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. O merciful Father, you have wounded your own son to bring us the eternal healing of your love. Bless the sick and those who suffer, those wounded in body or mind, and all those we now name to you in our heart. as well as Art, Rick, Melissa, Clifford, Helen, Marianne, Art, Jane, George, Brina, Marilyn, and Chris. In your own time, grant to them healing according to your will and sustain them until the day of the resurrection of the body. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. All these things, O Lord, and whatever else you know we need, we pray you to grant us for the sake of the mercies and by the merits of our Savior, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and it sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory 
forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.